are your thoughts uh, tonight, a big picture, what you heard from Nikki Haley and what this means in the big picture for Donald Trump? You, you know, I've been around a lot of these candidate speeches. I've written a few. That was a no-labels speech tonight by Nikki Haley. That was a speech when she says, no matter what, I am running. When she trashes Joe Biden, trashes Donald Trump, she is setting herself up to run down the middle. And look, look at what happened in South Carolina tonight. She won, according to the Fox voter analysis, independent voters by 19 percentage points tonight. Now, that's only 7% of the people who voted in the primary, which is why she got her clock cleaned in the primary by Donald Trump. But when you look at independent voters, she sees a huge group out there. And when you look at the country, independent voters are 43% of the country. Republicans are 27%. Democrats are 27%. So she is looking ahead and seeing a swath down the middle that doesn't like Biden, doesn't like Trump. I, I can just feel it. I watched it. My reaction was immediate. Mm -hmm. She is declaring. And so why won't she drop out of the race? Because she sees herself on the runway to something new. And when you see yourself on the runway, you don't pull your plane off the runway. You get ready to take off. That's what she's doing tonight. I will say, four weeks ago, her campaign addressed this very issue. Nikki has no interest in no labels. She's happy with the Republican label. That was four weeks ago, but a lot's happened in four weeks. She seems to have taken a heel turn on the question of endorsing former President Trump. She used to say, of course, I would rather have Trump than Biden. Sunday, she says, the last thing on my mind is who I'm going to support. Her attacks have gotten sharper. Uh, but to the point of the voter, the Nikki Haley voter, the 59% who say I will not vote for Donald Trump, that is something I would look at closely if I'm former President Trump. But one clue we have as to whether that voter comes home are our own Fox News polls in Georgia. Uh, Georgia, 91% of registered voters vote Trump in a binary matchup. Wisconsin, 90%. North Carolina, 94%. Michigan, 93%. So in a binary matchup, that voter comes home, a no-labels candidacy. We'll see if she changes her mind. Yeah, I mean, tr traditionally, Dana, it, it does mean that these voters do come home, even if they didn't yeah. like the other person in the primary. Right. That when it's binary, even if it is another person in the race, it, traditionally, it yes, has been that's the case. come home. Guess who's the most worried about this tonight? It's not Donald Trump, for the reason that Kaylee just said. It's Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. Because mm -hmm. remember what Nikki Haley has said all along, that this election, I'm not running against Biden, I'm running against Kamala Harris. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to diagram all of these sentences to see what, we can, what clues we can find. But she gave clues to both of you this week in interviews, so probably more to come. When I said she can't get media attention, I might be wrong, because if yeah. you decide to do something new on the runway, that's how you get new. Can we see that chart Monday morning? <laughs> yeah, I'm really good at it. I used to do it with Farsight cards. just cartoons. have a few seconds, but Juan, what's your reaction to that? Because what do you think the reaction is in the Joe Biden camp tonight? Because no labels means that there would be a Democrat on that ticket as well. Well, I think it, you know, right now, Democrats are worried, aggressively concerned about a no labels effort because it would take away some of those independent voters that are so critical. But I got to say, sitting here listening to my friends, I think that if Nikki Haley is running on a no labels ticket, she's more likely to do damage to people who are Republican supporters of Donald Trump. Maybe. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.